What is going on ladies and gents, Michael or Legacy Kill HD back here today with another Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead 3 video for you. And today we'll be discussing weapons that'll be used in the next Red Dead game. Specifically, we're going to be concentrating between the 1880s and the 1900s, because as most of you have known, if you are following any of my videos, we've uncovered some really big details that involve an Indian war for the next Red Dead game. But if you have missed any of the other Red Dead videos, make sure you check the playlist. There should be a link in the description and annotation on the screen. It involves a lot about the recent leaks involving story, characters, setting, and races for the next Red Dead game involving Native American settlers. You're not going to want to miss those videos, so make sure you check it out. Now, I want to start off by saying Rockstar Games did an amazing job with the Wild West weapons within Red Dead Redemption. If you don't know exactly what I'm discussing, all the weapons that were involved in Red Dead Redemption are all real-world weapons, and that's why we're also going to be discussing some of the weapons from Red Dead Redemption that I'm hoping to see return just because they were a lot of fun to play with, and also because of their historical importance being used within the American Civil War and the Indian Wars that came to be. So we're going to start off with the Cattleman Revolver, or its real-world name, the Colt Single Action Army Revolver, which is also known as the Peacemaker. It was introduced in 1873 and was used by the U.S. Army until 1892. It was known as the gun that won the West. It was one of those weapons within Red Dead Redemption that really didn't have too much of a value, but when you look at its actual historical importance, it's kind of interesting that they didn't use it as more of a high-powered weapon, so hopefully it'll have a little bit more of a significance in the next Red Dead game if it does return. And next we have the Volcanic Repeater or Pistol. It began manufacturing in 1853 and was seen as an obscure handgun at the time, but it also is the reason why we have two of the world's largest gun companies, Smith & Wesson and Winchester Repeating Arms Company, in the world's most popular cartridges that are here because of this weapon alone. I actually use this weapon a lot within Red Dead Redemption. This was used during the American Civil War, so it does have a historical value, but it definitely was a very explosive weapon that led to a lot of the weapons that we have now in the modern days. And next, we have a weapon that Landon Ricketts introduced to John Marston, and that is the Schofield Revolver. This weapon began production in 1870. It saw service in the Indian Wars, which would go with the narrative for the next Red Dead game from those leaks that we've already seen, and then we also know that this gun was reportedly popular with lawmen and outlaws in the American West, one being Jesse James, and we also had use from President Theodore Roosevelt. And moving on, we have the Lamatt Revolver. It began production in 1856 and it was used during the Civil War. The creator, a French doctor living in New Orleans, Jean Alexander Lamatt, was serving the Confederacy, and this was perhaps the most well-known foreign design revolver during the Civil War. And next, we have the Springfield Rifle, also known as the Springfield Model 1873 Trapdoor Carbine. The gun in both full-length and carbine versions was widely used in battles against the American Indians, and once again another weapon that could be going with the American War theme for the next Red Dead title. Next we have the Buffalo Rifle, or the Sharps Model 1874 Rifle, which was a falling block rifle used during and after the American Civil War. The carbine version was very popular with the cavalry of both the Union and Confederate armies. And next we have the Henry Repeater, which was introduced in 1860 and was said to be a point of pride if you owned it. Some of the bodyguards that actually defended Confederate President Jefferson Davis used this weapon, and this weapon saw use during the American Civil War and the Indian Wars. One of the most notable events is the Battle of Little Bighorn in 1876. And definitely I hope that they actually incorporate this battle within the next Red Dead game or make some type of fictionalized version. It was one of the most historical moments in American history, and as most of you guys have noticed, there's a lot of references to the Indian Wars with some of these weapons. So it definitely it would make sense if the next Red Dead game incorporates the Indian War or Civil War theme, but as most of you have been following me, we followed a lot of leaks that are confirming that an Indian War is happening in the next Red Dead game, and some of the weapons that we've already seen in these Red Dead games actually were used during the Indian Wars, so we'll definitely be seeing some of these weapons return. And next we have Dynamite, which was invented by Alfred Noble in 1867. It was seen as a safer explosive compared to alternatives such as gunpowder. Definitely was one of the best parts of Red Dead blowing up enemies, and I really am hoping to see this return once more. And next we have the Gatling Gun, which was a machine gun made in 1861 and was used during the American Civil War by Union forces. The inventor of this weapon actually thought that a machine gun would limit battles so it would cause less deaths. Unfortunately, I think he was a little wrong on that. This weapon was so much fun to use within Red Dead Redemption, just bringing actual machine guns to the Wild West. Nothing gets better than that. And next, we're going to actually move away from Red Dead Redemption guns. We're going to move to newer weapons that we haven't seen yet, but were involved in Indian War and Civil War moments that hopefully will be involved in this next Red Dead game. We're going to start with some of the Native American weapons, just being that within Red Dead Redemption, one of the biggest flaws was there wasn't much Native American weaponry. I mean, we had tomahawks, but that came in later DLC. And as Indians will be making a bigger role, we're going to be looking out to see crossbows, one of the biggest things I was hoping to see in Red Dead Redemption, but we did not see. Spears, and then obviously the return of tomahawks, bolas, which would definitely be something fun to use on animals, we maybe even a blowgun to knock down some enemies and pass them out. But make sure to let me know in the comment section, what do you think about Native Americans and their role in this next Red Dead game, and what type of weapons do you want to see? I personally would think it would be so much fun to be able to use a crossbow on enemies, I think that was one of the biggest missing pieces of the Red Dead Redemption, so I really am going to be looking forward to seeing that. But now we're actually going to move away from Native American weaponry, we're just going to 
going to move back to overall guns and weapons during that period. We're going to start with the Ketchum Hand Grenade, which was an experimental grenade which was introduced in the Civil War for the Union. It's a grenade, I think it would be a lot of fun to be able to incorporate it. If we don't have TNT, that would be something to substitute with it. And next we have the Mameluke Sword, which was used by Marines in the Civil War. We also have the Model 1833 Dragoon Saber, which was used by US Cavalry during the Civil War. Obviously most of you guys know, Colonel Allende actually had some type of saber, some type of sword. We weren't actually able to use it, which was very unfortunate because when he dies, it automatically goes to a cutscene. So it definitely will be something I'm going to be looking out to see in the next Red Dead game. Next, we have the Cooper Pocket Percussion Revolver of 1860. It was utilized as a double action method, unlike other single action guns of the day. And also, we have the Webley Bulldog Pocket Revolver, which proved to be popular with civilians living out in the wild frontiers of the late 1800s. Just two different types of handguns that I think would be fun to use in the next Red Dead game. They're both different in their own types of ways. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. These are just different types of weapons that I'm hoping to see in the next Red Dead game. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure to let me know which type of weapons you want to see in Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead 3 and tell me why. Make sure to smack the like button if you did enjoy the video or found it any bit informative. Make sure to subscribe for a lot more Red Dead Redemption 2 content to come and I'll see you guys later.